So sometimes you're going to get equations where your denominator has a letter. That is okay. All you do is you ignore the letter for now. So what number links 3, 4, and 12? Oh, just remember that this is 4 over 1. So you could use the number 12 itself. Okay, now that means that this one would need to be multiplied with 4. This one would need to, the, the second one would need to be multiplied by 3. This one would need to be multiplied by 12. And then this one is absolutely fine. Okay, so then at that point, everything would be fine. But then we have to remember that there's an A in the denominator as well. So your common denominator should actually be 12 a. So this one already has the a, this one doesn't. So instead of multiplying it by 3 only, multiply it by 3a. Because 3a times 4 does give you 12a, which is what your common denominator is. So this third one you would multiply it by 12a, and then this last one already has the 12 and the a, so you don't do anything to that one. This one just gets multiplied by 4 because it already has the a. So you say 4 times 3a and that gives you 12a. So if we did have to go write all the denominators, it would look like this. So, four, so you would have 4 times 2 over 12a plus 15a over 12a equals to 48a over 12a minus a minus 3 over 12a. You can see that we all we, they all have 12 a's now, and that's what we're trying to do. But because it's an equation, we don't need all of those denominators, so we ignore them. So what's very important is that this minus is in front of this entire term, so we must have a bracket over there. Usually we would have had a bracket over there if we if we multiplied it by a certain number. So we would have put like a 3 over there, and then you would have had a bracket. But because it already had the 12a, we didn't do anything to that one. And now it just becomes a normal equation. So 4 times 2 is 8, plus 15a equals to 48a. This minus will just jump in there now and become minus a plus 3. Then you would solve for a. So let me do that. In this one, I'm actually going to take all the a's to the right and all the numbers to the left. But Kevin, why? It doesn't matter, guys. You can do it however you will get to the same answer. So on the left, we've already got 8, and then I'm going to bring this 3 over, so it becomes minus 3 equals to, here I've got 48a minus a, and then I'm going to bring this 15a over, so it'll become minus 15a. And so we're going to end up with 5 equals to 32a. And so people often say, so Kevin, do we divide 32 by 5, because that'll give a nice answer, or do we have to say 5 over 32, because that's not nice. Guys, you want to get rid of this 32, because if you can do that, then A is by itself. If you divide it by 5, you wouldn't be able to cancel these, and so you wouldn't get A alone. So it must be a 32, and this one must be the same, so that that cancels. And so the answer is 5 over 32. You can get fraction answers. Here's another one. So your common denominator, you can look at the numbers first. So that will be 6, because 3 and 2. And then there's an x, so we should make it 6x. So if we look at the first one, it already has an x at the bottom. So to make it like this, you just need another 6. So we'll multiply this by 6. How do we turn this 2 into that? Well, you would have to multiply by 3x. So we multiply by 3x at the top. And then how would you turn this into that? You would simply multiply it by 2, because it already has the x. You see, so the whole point is to try and make the bottom part the same as the common denominator, because the denominator means the bottom part. And so, for example, this one you multiplied by 6, and so you always do the same to the top. And so this one you multiplied by 3x, so you always do the same to the top. This one you multiplied by 2, and so you always do the same to the top. And then you just ignore the denominator. And then at this point, it's just a normal question. So let me quickly solve it for you guys. 6x minus 6 plus 9x equals 2. Then you multiply it in. So 2x minus 2. I'm then going to take all x's to the left, all numbers to the right. You can do it the other way around if you want. So on the left, we're going to have 6x minus, sorry, plus 9x. And then this 2x is going to come over. So that's minus 2x equals 2. On the right hand side, we already have minus 2, and then we're going to take this over so it becomes plus 6. And so this part here becomes 13x 
on the right hand side we end up with 4 and so we divide well, let me first show you we divide by 13 on both sides and so x is going to be 4 over 13. So with this one, let's look at the numbers first. So there's a 2, a 2, and a 5. So I know that I could turn all of those into a 10. That'll be easy to do. And then there's an x. I'll just say 10x. So how would I turn this into 10x? You would multiply by 5. So I'm going to put a 5 over there. This one you would multiply by 5x. So I'd put 5x over there. And then this one I would multiply by 2. Why not 2x, Kevin? Because it already has the x. We don't need, if you had to say 5x times 2x, you would get 10x squared, and you're only trying to find 10x. Now at this point, because it's an equation, you can ignore your denominators, because they would have all become 10x, and when they're the same, you can ignore them when it's an equation. And so now we just have 5 times 5, which is 25. 5x times 3 is 15x. 2 times 6 is 12. And then you just solve. So I'm just going to leave the x on the left, take this over to the other side, so it will become 12 minus 25. And so you end up with negative 15x equals to negative 13. You then divide by minus 15 on both sides, so that this cancels, so that you get x alone. It's all about getting x alone. And so the negative and the negative cancel, and so you end up with 13 over 15.